Francis Fernandez, and here we are once again. We want to minister to you the word of the Lord. We're happy to see you again. Um, we're here, women united in prayer, and uh, we're just uh, praying that God will help all of us. I just want to thank the Lord for giving us the time and the opportunity to be here ministering to you. Thank you for your prayers. I know that you are praying for us too. We appreciate it very, 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 very much. Today is a beautiful day and I am here to, uh, to encourage you. Once again, to encourage you. I want to thank God because there's a, a, a lot of people around, around the world that are praying and they're encouraging us either through Facebook, through um, songs, and there's different ways where we're all ministering to each other. And I want to thank you once again. Uh, we're here, and I am going to give you a few tips about standing on the promises of God. We, um, again, I don't want to be repeating myself so much about saying, you know, yes, we all know, we understand. A lot of things have uh, transpired in our lives. And I was just thinking about just a, about a month ago, we were doing so well. My husband and I were ministering in Hayward, California, and then the next day we just needed to come home like right away. I'm glad we did. As you all know, we're ministering in different areas. We're a full-time evangelist. Uh, we really had a, a schedule we were booked all the way to almost the end of october almost november we were really really booked and i don't i don't know where it's just like now there's nothing but i just want to thank god for this this new technology that we have we can struggle a little bit here and there because a lot of things are new for us but we're learning, we're learning. Uh, I know there's a, a lot of good materials and better quality of technology, but my husband and I were trying our best. That's all we can do, try our best with what we have. And uh, so again, our, our desire is to minister to you, uh, to your family, uh, every time that we study the word of the Lord, we encourage ourselves. I encourage myself by, by reading the word of the Lord, by praying. Uh, we've been praying for a lot of people. Just today, earlier, we were praying for someone in Mexico, someone in uh, Texas, in the Valley of Texas, someone else in Arizona, uh, someone else in um, Indio, California. We're praying, we're praying. There's a lot of different needs. But one of the things that we need to remember is to stand in the promises of God. We need to stand in the promises. You know, God has promises, many blessings. The Bible, it is full of um, promises, many promises. And he's faithful to fulfill these promises. In Jesus' name, in the midst of challenges that we're facing today, we need to stand on his word. Today, once again, I would like to encourage you. I'm just gonna give you a few tips. I'm not gonna take long. Um, I just want to uh, encourage you. Again, I'm repeating myself. But anyway, one of them, one of the promises that God said that he was gonna be with us all the way to the end. And to the end of our journey, and it's just too beautiful, so beautiful to know that Isaiah 41, 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Very clear, I am with you. Do not dismay, for I am your God. And I just want to thank God because God is real. He is real in my life today. I gave my heart to Jesus 50 years ago. It's amazing. 50 years I've been serving the Lord. And I just want to thank him because through it all, through the ups, the downs, the valleys, the 
mountaintop, God has been there for us. He says, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. I'm going to hold you with my power. What a beautiful promise to know that, that he's going to be with us, and that he is with us. But let's not be afraid. I know a lot of times it's a lot easier to say than done. Maybe I'm not in your situation. You're not in my situation. But you know what? Through it all, we know that God is alive. He's alive. And he's answering our prayers. Another scripture that I really, really like is Isaiah 43, 2. It says, if you pass through the waters, you're not going to drown. If you're going to pass by the fire, you're not going to burn. Thank God for the word of the Lord. Let's not overwhelm. Let's not over, overwhelm with everything that's going on in our lives today. I know there's a lot of concerns about health, finances, jobs. Um, we don't know where maybe money for the rent is going to come. But we're going to keep on trusting in the Lord. I encourage you to read Psalms 23. The Lord says, the word of the Lord says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. How beautiful to know that he is our shepherd. He's the one who's guiding our steps. But we need to stay close to him, strong in uh, his promises. Another promise, he promises protection. God is protecting his children. God is our keeper. When you have a chance, also, read uh, Psalms 121. It's beautiful, beautiful psalm. He says, he will not let your foot be moved. He's not going to, nothing moved us. Once again, when you have time, read Psalms 121. There's only eight verses there, but it's amazing, the promises of the Lord. Another promise is that he, his promise is that he loves us. He's faithful every way, all the way. He loves us. The Lord is good. His love endureth forever. God loves you. And maybe right now you feel like nobody cares for you. Um, nobody loves you. Where is everybody? You know what? Don't worry about it. Just trust in God. I understand. I repeat myself. Easy to say than done. But if you stay strong in the word, and I just, I know I'm repeating certain words, but that's how much it means to me to tell you to stay strong. Jesus loves you. He's right there. Just talk to him. Tell him. How do you feel deep inside of your heart? What did you hurt? What is your pain? What is it that you're afraid of? Tell him, Jesus loves you. Another promise, a blessing to all who will delight himself themselves in the word. Delight, let's delight ourselves in the word of the Lord. He's going to bless us. But we need to have a good time when we read the scripture. Even if it's only one verse a day, one chapter a day, but enjoy it. Enjoy the word of the Lord. Taste it. Uh, taste the word of the Lord in your life. Another beautiful promise is that God promises salvation. Thank God for salvation. I want to thank God for salvation. Because he came to my life, and now I am his child. I'm a, a child of God. Thank you, Jesus. I am your child. You are my father. And you uh, have blessed me with salvation, not only for me, but my family, my children, my grandchildren. And we're praying 
for others that need the salvation of the Lord. I encourage you right now, if you have not given your heart to Jesus, do it right now. Just tell him to come into your heart. Tell him. Ask God for forgiveness. He will forgive you from all your sins. He's right there, right there where you're at. And he will forgive you for all your sins. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. Like the book of Acts says, Acts 2, 38. God promised that all things will work for good. All things work out for good. Thank God, because again, we are his children. Romans 8, 28 says that he is going to fulfill his promise. All things work out for good to them that love the Lord. Just keep on loving God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. And he is going to give you the desires of your heart. The Lord promised to give us comfort in the midst of our trials. He's here to comfort you. Second uh, Corinthians 1, 3 to 4. I'm giving you just the scriptures. If you have time or may time to read the word of the Lord, he promised to comfort us in the midst of our trials. The Lord Jesus Christ promised new life, new things. Once we give our hearts to the Lord, it says, Behold, all things are new. Some all things have passed away. Now all things are new. We need to give our hearts to Jesus. God promised every spiritual blessing. He promised to bless us spiritually. What a beautiful thing to know that God gives us everything, everything. But we need to stand. Stand in the word. His promises are many, many, many. I'm just giving you a few. There's thousands of promises in the word of the Lord. And the ones I'm giving you is to encourage you. He promised to give us peace. Peace in the midst of the storm. And yes, it looks ugly. The storms are the waves of life too much to handle at times. But he promised to give us peace in the midst of the storm. The Lord promised to supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, because you promised to supply all of our needs. Whatever you need right now, whatever, whatever, whatever you need, just pray and believe in faith. Get a hold of God and believe in faith. He's going to bless you and supply your needs. According to Matthew 6, 33, God is wonderful. God promises rest. We need to rest in the Lord. We need to rest in God. He promises rest. Thank you, Jesus, for the rest of God, for the peace of God in our hearts. He promises to give us abundant life, abundant life, if we follow him. We need to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. He promises above all things. He promises eternal life. Someday, not too long from now, we're going to be with the Lord. And we're going to be there with him forever. Where we're not going to have to worry about anything. We're not going to worry about sickness, money, what else? So many other negative things. But as we are here right now, we need to enjoy. Enjoy the Lord. The day is coming soon and very soon. The Lord is going to come for his church. But we need to be ready. 
Let's be ready. So when, so when he comes, when we hear the trumpet sound, we're going to be ready to meet our creator. Not only I'm going to meet my creator, my husband, again, my children, grandchildren, my family, my friends. I want to thank God. I'm excited because tomorrow, Lord willing, at 11 o'clock in the morning, we're going to start our first Bible study using the new technology, Zoom. God in mercy. A lot of new words. <laughs> a lot of new things. But that's okay. Again, we're learning. In Jesus' name, we're learning how to push buttons <laughs> for the cause of the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to tell the world that Jesus loves them. We need to tell them that Jesus is coming soon. Who else is going to do it? We need to do it. I want to do it. That's why I'm here. We have moved things around here at our home, uh, finding better light, different ways of doing these things better. But I want to thank God for great people of God that they're willing to help us. I want to thank Sister Mari de la Cruz, Sister Victoria, Sister, uh, excuse me, Brother Ernie Montoya, our Alba team, that they're like so willing to help us so we can just keep on sharing the gospel. Uh, on on um, Wednesday, my husband gave a beautiful Bible study. If you can, uh, I'm sure you can, <laughs> join us. He gave a study on Wednesday uh, on Facebook, Born to Excel, a division of Alba. Go there and share. Share the, the good news. If I can do it, uh, you can do it. We all can do it if we really want to, in Jesus' name. So let's stay strong in the promises of the Lord, standing on the promises. For me, another beautiful thing for my life is that God promised me power. Power in the Holy Ghost. Uh, he gave me the power. He gave me the authority in Jesus' name. Promise, great promise to just rebuke the enemy from our homes, from our lives, from, in Jesus' name, if you have the Holy Ghost and you speak in other tongues, that's the evidence that you have the Holy Ghost, just do it. Speak in tongues. Praise the Lord and worship Jesus in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, once again, wonderful, great promises. I just, once again, just gave a few. There is more here. But go back. Just go back to the word. Pray and ask God. Whatever you need might be, just pray. Pray to God. Seek the Lord. Wherever you at. Kids, your children, pray with them if you have any at home. I'm here, just my husband and I. And I thank the Lord because we, we have our times to pray together. And we talk about the word of God. And we talk about the needs of this world. And yeah, believe me, there's some concerns. I'm not saying that everything is just, but you know what? We trust it in the Lord. He does have something greater for us. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is God. Again, in the midst of these challenges, I encourage you to stand in the promises of God. He is with you. He's never going to leave you alone. He's going to be with you all the way to the end of the world. Let's remember that God's divine plan for our life is that we know, we understand, we recognize that he has great promises and good plans for each of us. He has great plans. Please also read Jeremiah 29, 11. It's one of my favorite scriptures also. God, the Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I have about you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace, and not of evil 
to give you the end you hope for. Wow, this is amazing. God has great plans, great thoughts, good things for us. He is there with you. He loves you very much. Stay strong. Don't give up. I encourage you, don't give up. God loves you very much. Pray for us. If you have a chance, oh, I'm sure you do. Once again, I repeat myself, but just go to alba-inc.org. You can see a website there. We're trying to post uh, different uh, studies to help you, to encourage you. If you need and you need to use some of those materials, feel free to do so. Share them. That's what we're here for, to share. Share the good news. I encouraged you last time, and I told you if you can, do something for someone, your neighbor, your family. I was very encouraged to conclude, just to say that I was so happy when... Uh, I saw uh, Sister Barbosa, Sister Dina Barbosa's Facebook, and, and, and she posted. They really brought joy to my heart. Pictures. Someone, their assistant pastor, he, he went and they just left food right there in front of their doorsteps. What a great deed. I get so happy and encouraged also seeing members parading, doing a parade for their pastor and their pastor's wives. And I see them crying because they're praying for you. They love you. They love you very, very much. That's why they're working so hard uh, preparing their, their studies, their social media, their services to encourage you. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you for praying for us. We're praying for you. We love you very, very, very much. Once again, just receive a big hug from me. And I'm receiving one from you. Thank you. I love you very, very much. God bless you. God bless you. Once again, thank you. We love you.